So if you head over to the tower right now and go visit Ada One, she's selling two pretty banger mods in Grenade Kickstart and Utility Kickstart. These are both some pretty useful stasis mods that you can go about putting on your armor pieces to get your abilities quicker. Utility Kickstart is for your class ability, your Rift, Barricade, or Dodge, and Grenade is for your Grenade. And what's really cool about these is that these mods do stack with each other, especially something like Utility Kickstart being only one energy. It's very easy to put two of them on. However, they're not all sunshine and rainbows over here. There's one little side note that I want to mention specifically about the grenade kickstart. Now, on our current glove, we only have just one copy of the mod, right? And if we just go ahead, throw our fusion grenade, and you'll see... We get a nice little start in our grenade cooldown, which is very much appreciated. Now, here we have it with two copies of grenade kickstart, and if we go ahead and throw our fusion grenade and look at the bottom left-hand corner, you'll see the sizable jump increase. It's very much so noticeable. That kickstart to your grenade cooldown is very, very good, and one of the most popular builds going around right now, obviously, is going to revolve around the Starfire Protocol. However, there is an issue here. As we know with Solo 3.0, the Starfire Protocol really saw a jump in how much it was used inside of the PvE sandbox, and it's for good reason. The touch of flame aspect for the warlock allows for fusion grenades to blow up twice, making them very strong, dealing additional damage, and the starfire protocol gives you an additional fusion grenade charge, and it will instantly give you back your empowering rift with a fusion grenade kill, which is very easy to do with touch of flame. And you also easily recharge your fusion grenades from empowered weapon damage, which you can easily do by sitting in your empowering rift. So this is one of the main exotics being used right now, especially in season 17, and believe me, that extra fusion grenade charge is very, very strong. However, the thing is, is if you look at the grenade kickstart mod, is that it reads when your grenade energy is fully expended, you gain grenade energy. The key word is fully. Now, most warlocks are going to have a high investment into their discipline. That is for a very good reason. Grenades are very, very strong across the game and especially on the warlock. However, this mod will not work with the Starfire Protocol specifically because of that extra fusion grenade charge. Because you have to fully expend your grenade energy, the Starfire Protocol gives you two. And if you look at the bottom left hand corner of the screen when I throw it, we don't get the, the mod to proc because we have a whole grenade charge to go. And then by the time I would throw the second one, I still have, I have not fully technically used my grenade energy. Therefore, the mod doesn't proc. Even with two copies of the grenade kickstart mod, if I just literally spam throw my grenade, the mod is never, ever going to proc with having two charges of your grenade. The Starfire Protocol is just that good. So if you're using the Starfire Protocol Fusion Grenade Warlock build, do not put on grenade kickstart you're wasting mod slots bro don't waste mod slots also keep this in mind whenever you're using the omni oculus the goat of hunter chest pieces especially if used in its proper situations making your teammates constantly go invis you're never going to use all of your melee energy because you're instantly going to be refunding half of it if not all of it if you're you know cloaking two or more of your allies so there's really no point to use melee kickstart at all with this chest piece with had one selling grenade kickstart i feel like that was kind of important to mention to some people out there because nobody wants a wasted mod slot thank y'all for watching subscribe if y'all are new peace out